Hey guys, Professor Fat Shady from the University of Trials, and today's video is all for Alpha Texan. Um, but everyone can watch it. Uh, this is going to be. I just realized I had the uh, screensaver on, my bad. Throwback Thursday video of the Forge from the. one of the DLC packs, which I always figure. Uh, Big Sands. Big Sands, Trials Evolution, uh, the Forge Extreme Track Tutorial for Alpha Texan. By the way, thank you for the feedback on the video. Hopefully you like this sort of configuration slightly better than what I've had previously. Um, I think it kind of works. Um, but yeah, we'll see We'll see what happens. Like I said, work in progress. Uh, but yeah, I shrunk the name down. I made me a little bit smaller. Uh, flipped it to the right-hand side. Um, <clears throat> all right, this is funny. <laughs> I've done zero preparation for this. Uh, first checkpoint, if I remember correctly, it was a, basically two bunny hops. Or three, actually. <clears throat> Now, the first, the first thing you want to make sure you do is get a really strong bunny hop here. Um, you will notice there is that eye beam so you've got... It's slightly deceptive. You've got the barrel and the eye beam to actually propel yourself off. So it's not like it's a, a tiny obstacle. The issue is the height. Uh, if you haven't got your bunny hop right... If you haven't got your bunny hop right, you're really going to struggle here. So what I would strongly suggest is um, making sure you just practice this as many times as you can. Uh, it's really back forward, back forward, back. So yeah, you need to bunny hop, but then also lean back over the rear wheel to make sure your rear wheel lifts up underneath your body. Uh, and then all I do is try and position it so you can really rear wheel skip over all of these things. So bunny hop there, bunny hop there, and you're at the checkpoint. Um, given that Alpha Texas is asking, Alpha Texans asking for the tutorial. Here, I'm assuming you're having trouble. Um, I'm trying to see if I can break it down. So if you can rest up here, oh. if you struggle, uh, let me see. Honestly, I think you're gonna. Oh no! Okay, so that is possible. All right. So if you want to look for a consistent way, if you are having trouble, big bunny hop there. If you can rest yourself here, or you get stuck at this point, don't despair. Uh, keep leaning back over the rear wheel. Use reverse to unhook your front wheel, and get your rear wheel as far back as you can. And then another bunny hop, and you will be able to make that. So there you go. Uh, second one, if I remember correctly. Um, first and foremost, throttle control, right? You won't make this in one big jump. I uh, don't believe. Let's see. Shady likes a challenge. And you'd struggle. So, if you just accelerate flat out, actually that's probably the right way to do it too. If you just accelerate flat out, uh, and then counteract your rotation by pressing to the right, and then throttle control. Um, if you haven't learned to land on an uphill slope, hopefully you would um, you wouldn't even be trying to distract because you're crazy. Go and learn throttle control. Uh, but anyway, steady yourself down. As with all these type of things, if you try and actually bunny hop, and this is the most interesting thing about being on an uphill, upward slope like this, if you try and do a bunny hop, like press back then forward, uh, you'll in effect lift your rear wheel off the ramp. And by doing that, you lose all traction, all forward momentum, and you will, you will fault. All you need to do in this situation where you need to lift your front wheel up a little bit, up a ramp, is actually, so at the moment, I'm holding, I'm gently pressing the right trigger, and I am uh, pressing hard to the right on the left analog stick to push myself forward against the ramp. All I'm going to do for a brief moment, about halfway up the ramp, is let go of the left analog stick, and you watch the front wheel. Just, just touched it, but that was enough to get me up and over. So all you've got to do is just, so from pressing hard to the right, just let go for a moment, let the front wheel lift up, and then propel yourself forward. Uh, next checkpoint. If I remember correctly, this was hard. Now, remember, you do have, see where my front wheel's sort of touching? There are metal beams there, and as long as you hook your rear wheel onto them, you will still be able to press, uh, give yourself that forward momentum. Um, all, all I do here is similar to the first checkpoint. Actually, probably even not even similar. Yeah, that's all you need to do. Um, all I'm doing is full acceleration, back, back forward, and just keep pressing forward, and you'll get to this point. Do it again. Yeah, that's all, that's all it is. Uh, same thing here. Again, if you want to do it consistently, reverse. Give yourself a nice big runner and a nice big healthy bunny hop. 
Now, yeah, if I remember correctly, this is a challenging one because, right, you start on a downward slope, and so your real, your front wheel is always likely to be just launching flat off this uh, ramp here, and even though there's that little upward inflection, you'll find the ramp, the landing on the other side, is at least level with this. And because of the distance and the shortness of the run-up, you end up hitting it slightly low. So if I just sort of accelerate flat out here, you see what I mean? You, you, you're not high enough. A couple of ways you want to approach that. Certainly when I'm speed running it, what I actually ended up doing was even just getting into a neutral position. Or, yeah, probably neutral position here. What this is going to allow you to do is when you do the bunny hop, instead of you already being seated over the rear wheel, by giving yourself that little bit of wiggle room by standing in a neutral position, you'll actually be able to lift the front wheel up. And what you are trying to do is when you do the bunny hop, don't just bunny hop with your front wheel riding along the ramp, bunny hop with your front wheel in the air. The hope is that you'll get that little bit of extra height. So let's just try this. Look at that. Straight up and over. Um, so let's just do that a few more times. All right, back forward, lean forward here, brake, neutral position, and lift that front wheel forward. Mwah. Kiss. Now let's look at the second part, which is probably arguably the hardest. Alright, from here, firstly, short ramp, always going to struggle. Uh, you'll see already, if I just accelerate, I can't get any forward momentum, okay? So this is another one of these ramps where you're going to have to lift your front wheel to get the forward momentum. And by the way, doing this in one fluid motion is certainly easier, but uh, probably less consistent. I want to see if I can do this now. I think I can. You're going to have to bear with me for a moment. I think... Disappointing. Okay, so I can get there from a standing start, and if I can get there, I can get up and over the checkpoint. Let's try it again. Uh, okay, so we've broken down the first section. Actually, and this is probably why this is a hard track, is because, you know, this one checkpoint's got like four separate components. Um, let me get the launch to here. Okay, so what you need to do here is you need to press hard to the left to lift your front wheel up and then flick your body weight f forward to get up and over. Right? And if you can, just rest up here. And once you're up here, lean back a little bit, get the front wheel to grip, and you should make it up and over. Now, just for old time's sake, I'll try and go through it how I used to run it. Nope. Let's try again. Yep. See? A little bit there. A little bit there. No. <laughs> it's been so long since I've run this track. Like, I can't even tell you how long. And then, look at that, over the top. Too much. Alright, screw you guys. Checkpoint, who cares? Alright, next one. Oh. Boom. Uh... Alright, for consistency's sake, let's try... For consistency's sake... Yeah, okay. Um, same technique again. If you just go flat out, you're not going to make the height, right? So this is where you need to understand that technique of lifting your front wheel up. Uh, so front wheel, so backwards and then forward. And what that's doing is actually flicking... It's, it's sort of that... This, that's similar to that slide technique where you uh, propel yourself forward by just using a rear wheel up a ramp. Um, talked about it heaps, hopefully you understand it. Get yourself onto this flat part. Don't start this approach down here because what will happen is you'll inevitably uh, not be able to get enough grip. So you need to get onto the flat section from a seated position. Uh, and then it's just about timing. So, I mean, again, it's far, it's more consistent if you can keep it smooth, but if you're having trouble, Alpha Texan, uh, seat, seated position just over that rise, over the uh, join in the I-beam, and then you want to do a, a nice sort of healthy bunny hop. And, and, 
try and try. Now I'm struggling. I'm trying to find you a consistent way to do this. I mean, certainly, to be honest, that's the consistent way. Is if you can, if you can get up and do that. But uh, yeah, from a seated position here, it's tricky. No, actually, just just a just a confident bunny hop, um, and then balance yourself here. Uh, this, funnily enough, this is like the second last checkpoint. This flat section, and then up to the curve. I th I think it reminds me of Light City Run's second last checkpoint, but I could be wrong. Um, but if you can get good, nice strong bunny hop, land on your rear wheel, and just ca catch yourself as you're falling backwards. That's just annoying, but just uh, all I did there, just lean forward. If I find this obstacle really cheap, in the context of everything else in this track which I love, this particular obstacle just didn't, doesn't, to me it didn't fit. Um, just, just a straight box, I don't know why, I've never liked it. But anyway, lean forward and you get up there. Uh, yeah. Okay. So let's try the consistent way first. <laughs> okay. I'm trying to find... <laughs> so this is the thing, I sit here now and I'm like, okay, how would I teach someone who's never done this before? And I'm struggling, because what I want to say is, yeah, just, just string together multiple consecutive bunny hops and you'll be sweet. <sighs> Get up on here. Alright, so let's see if we can make this from a standing start, first and foremost. Yes. Okay, it's it's possible. You, now, as that pipe falls away, there is obviously a need for you to be quick in doing this. But if you need to break it down into its component parts, then you can. Um, all I'll do here. All I'll do here. Lean forward. Um, but I think if I keep leaning hard forward. Oh no, no, that works. Hard forward, hard accelerate, and you'll get up here. Then the next thing you want to do, yeah, so get onto this, get onto this, steady yourself, throttle control, give yourself lots of ramp, hard forward, hard accelerate, and you get up here. Now the trick with the barrels, uh, or the concrete tubes, is when you get onto them, you you can re as long as you can reverse backwards. Um, I've mentioned this before. The grip and especially your ability to reverse on a pipe is pretty incredible. And it's just about getting yourself and sort of in, unfortunately, knowing which part of the pipe to be on to allow you to prepare, uh, to make that bunny hop. A bit of trial and error. Um, toward the back though is where you want to be, um, and that's pretty much the technique. So hopefully that makes. Hopefully that, hopefully that works. Uh, next one, I'm pretty sure... Now the only thing is here, you don't want to flat out just go over here because you fall. Oh god. I skipped the checkpoint, so I'm just going to have to run through it now. Oh, you can make that. Silly shady. Oh, these tracks are good. See, see, that's why I hate that damn box. Not that that was a particularly awesome speed run, but killed my mojo, man. Okay, what I was trying to get across here is all you want to do is ride up to this. Um, if you fall straight down, you. Right, I'm not doing that checkpoint again. Just fall straight down, you'll be fine. Uh, what's next? Oh, this. Okay. Um. Alright, this it's a technique that I want to share with you here. I don't talk about it too often, but I mentioned it to a couple of people recently. Where you are on an uphill slope, and your rear wheel gets up. So, and see, so what ends up happening, right? You're pressing hard to the right, and what you're trying to do is stay on the thing. But because if you're... If it's only your front wheel on, you're getting no grip. Your rear wheel needs to be on the slope 
for you to be able to catch yourself, right? But occasionally you end up like this. You roll backwards all the time. What you need to do is teach yourself to hit break, all right? Because if I get in that situation, and, you know, if I'm lucky, and this is probably a bad ramp to show it to you, um, if you tap brake, if your front wheel's up, it will grip the front wheel and allow your rear wheel to swing back down, get in contact with the platform, or with the ramp, and you may have an opportunity to recover. By the way, if you just stay here, I think you have, I thought you had pipes drop on your head. Could be wrong. Alright, so the technique here, land confidently with your back wheel, throttle control to keep yourself in place, and honestly, if you just have good throttle control, as slow as you like. I said if you have good throttle. If you have good throttle control, you can just make it straight up there. Even if you get stuck here, just roll backwards a little bit. You'll get a little bit of extra push. Maybe not. Um, but yeah, land confidently with your back wheel, throttle control, it should just be up and over, ease off the throttle towards the top. And it should just plop straight down. This one, I love this, I actually really love this checkpoint. Um, it's hard, it's inconsistent, but when you nail it on a good run, it just feels right. Uh, oh, I just realized my green screen's got some little weird stuff going on. I will fix that for the next video. Um, okay, so what you want to do here, you need to, again, do that technique where you lift your front wheel up, but you also need to use the whole ramp. Um, this is a big gap, okay? What you're trying to do is that, oh, don't want any checkpoint. Um, so what you need to do, from a neutral position here, uh, you want to lift your front wheel up and then flick forward right at the end of that ramp. And what you're trying to do is end up, by the time you get to the next platform, you want to be almost uh, vertical, yeah, up and down, um, you want to be almost vertical. Um, and what should happen, the chassis of your bike should hit the corner of the upper ledge, and just by pressing to the right, you should be able to get up and over. But like that, but, make sure, but again, really confident with that back wheel. And this is the hard part, just getting a big enough bunny hop. But that's all it is. And if you can, tap brake as well. Um, if you need to, if you find yourself going too fast, uh, if you tap the brake uh, when your rear wheel's on that on the sort of vertical piece, just where my rear wheel's kind of touching now, um, it may actually grip and flick you up and over onto this ledge. Uh, this next piece here is just a big bunny hop, but what you want to do is and you want to carry that momentum. So if you, if you stop miles away from hitting it, if you stop and lift the front wheel, so this technique I've been talking to you about, where you lift the front wheel, Let me try it. it. It might be possible from a standing start there. You know what? I think I think it is right. If so, if this, I, I suspect this isn't the issue you're having, and because because that's so big, you really need to carry the momentum in. So what you need to do: small bunny hop there. Actually, just drive off there. Yeah, drive here. Uh, probably only eighty percent. And all it is, so 80% drive there, no bunny hop there, and rear wheel flick there. Okay, 80%. So, new, all right, sorry, I'm talking out loud. Neutral position, 80%. Seated, 100%. And just manage the angle. So, 80, seat, 100, boom, angle. That's all it is. Next one, pretty sure you just drive, do you? And lean forward. Wow, all right. That was easy. Uh, next one, big old bunny hop. Nothing more, big bunny hop, practice throttle control. From this one, you wanna get all the way to the back. Yeah, okay. Big bunny hop, stop, 
throttle control, rock backwards. So the only tricky thing that I'm doing there, right, is you'll watch, watch me in midair as I transition between these two ramps, right? I actually sit down and catch myself again. Now what I'm actually doing in midair is repositioning my bike, right? So if you have a look, if I don't do that midair adjustment, I will actually just... I'll hit, but you see, you kind of you land with your front wheel, and it's just a bit—it's a bit less consistent. So by sitting down on the bike, I'm actually because you know, when I land on the first one, I, you kind of want your front wheel to be up quite high and land strongly with your back wheel. But when I go that way, look, my front wheel—my front wheel wants to hit first. What I'm doing in midair is rotating just slightly, only 10, 20 degrees perhaps, but I'm rotating anti-clockwise to try and get my rear wheel to come in contact with the ramp first. Right, so rear wheel first there. That. Sorry, you don't need to bunny hop by the way. Just need to reposition yourself. And just make sure your rear wheel lands strong and again a bit of throttle control. This this used to be one of the hardest checkpoints for me. And I bet you I bet you it is again. Ah, that's what the technique is. Okay. All of the other checkpoints in the game, you're trying to lift your front wheel up first, right? And maybe this is the reason it was designed this way, to kind of lure, lure you into that uh, that uh, habit. You don't want to... This isn't one where you lift your front wheel first, necessarily. It's, pro it's probably possible. Yeah, it's... Alright, it's, it's possible. But my consistent way is to, from a seated position, accelerate 100%. No, neutral position. That's what it is. Alright. From a neutral position, accelerate at 100%. As you get most of the way onto the ramp, you want to sit down. And as you get to the top, you want to flick forward. Ah, oh, no. Okay, no. <laughs> my, my tutorials suck sometimes. This is difficult to explain. Okay, from a neutral position, accelerate at 100%. As you get onto the ramp, sit down on your bike. As you accelerate, don't flick forward until your front wheel is up almost toward the top of the box. So that's the it's it's the pause from so here, sit down, flick forward. Here, sit down, flick forward. There's that there's a, a couple of millisecond gap. But what I find is that will enable you to do that maneuver here. Alright? So accelerate and keep going forward. You don't want to flick forward too early, or your front wheel gets caught up on the box. And that's the main thing, you just want to keep that front wheel from hitting the box, right? So there, and then flick forward. Catch yourself with body weight. Here's the other issue. Even when you get up here, um, you, it's actually a higher platform, so there's still a jump you've got to make, right? So, get consistent in getting up here first. You want to stay in a seated position with a bit of throttle control, and then you want to bunny hop to get up and over. So Alpha Texan, I hope that helped. Um, just for old time's sake. Oh, and I've just realized. <laughs> I got dressed for this video. I put on, not that it's a, an Evo hoodie, it's my uh, Trials HD hoodie. Sorry, I should show you. Now the video's finished, no one's going to be watching. Uh. Uh, right on. Oh, I can't see you. There, Trials HD. On the back. Trials HD. Whatever, that was a bad demo, but you get the idea. Um, yeah, Throwback Thursday, man. So I had to, um... I thought I'd sport some, uh... Throwback Thursday merchandise. I will say, I mean, I'm sure it shouldn't come as a shock to anyone. Um, messing around on some ninja tracks has certainly helped my riding. Surprise, surprise, right?
always stuff this one up on a speed run too. I was never going to zero fault this on this run, but I was really hoping for something a bit better than four. But anyway, Alpha Texan. Hopefully that has given you... You can recover from that too, by the way. You will stuff that up from time to time. Or time and time to time. Oh my god. I used to be so consistent at that piece. Good finish, Shady. Anyway, thank you for watching Alpha Text, and I hope that helped you. Please let me know if there's any other um, tutorials or tracks you want me to feature. Uh, for now, Fat Shady signing out. Um, hey, more feedback again on the video layout. I'm hoping that was heaps better than uh, what it was uh, for the last video. But uh, yeah, happy to take any more feedback. However, I'm pretty happy with where it's at right now, so um, I may not implement any of your other suggestions. That's the kind of guy I am. Thanks for watching, and I'll keep making more. Cheers.